Hey there. Sharon Hortonhouse, I'm here. Welcome to day 1711, take two. I usually don't have to take my videos and do them twice, but I did this accidentally on my profile page. Instead of my Sharon Horn Elstrom Facebook page, which is now its own new profile, as you can tell by the no filter look. Uh, for some reason, this page, and I, I can't remember if it happened. I think it happened on my Supersize Your Business page when it went to its own individual profile under the new page format as well, where there were no filters or anything. So what you see is what you get. Usually what you see is what you get with me anyway. So having no filters, although it's a probably a vanity thing, can you see every wrinkle and every every messed up makeup piece? It's, it is what it is. So today was our last day. It was our wrap-up for... The BU 365 Day Challenge, the our annual challenge to do one thing every day that improves us, uh, we're focusing on communication. We've been doing for the first nine months of the year, each of these areas and aspects of a life framework that I've used for, geez, probably since the 1980s. With the exception of communication and confidence, I just added those two last year as I was going through a coaching program that focused on communication skills and things like that. Now, our idiom for supersize your business today was to take something with a grain of salt so I shared my salt lamp and I shared some sea salt and talked about what does it mean where does it come from and this is one that's been around since 77 AD and so it's a, a relatively old idiom and expression so most of us have experienced it or have experience with it uh, at least once or twice in our lifetime it just basically means don't believe everything you hear. Be a little skeptical. Do your own due diligence. Do your own homework. If you're going to make decisions and choices and pass information on, you might want to share that people should take it with a grain of salt because you're not sure and you didn't research the origin of the information. So if I hear something on the news and I repeat it to someone else, I would say, hey, this is where I got the information. Take it with a grain of salt, meaning think for yourself. It may or may not be true. Nowadays, I would think we have to take everything we hear on social media as well as in mainstream media with a grain of salt. We have to ask ourselves, okay, we understand the spin they're presenting this story with, but is that the way it actually is or is that just the spin that the media is putting on it? And pretty much everything reminds me of marketing in our businesses. Our marketing, how we reach people, how we share our message is all spun in the way that we want to attract the people we want to attract and repel the people we don't want to do business with. So there's a whole lot of information that we're exposed to every single day that we better be taking with a grain of salt and thinking for ourselves. So that was our idiom today. Communication, we talked about our PDP, our personal development plan with respect to communication. And I shared the three areas I'm going to work on. I prioritized them. Then I also said, hey, this is the one thing I'm going to start doing in each of those areas because with nine different areas and aspects of our life, if I have three things for each area, that's 27 different things I'm working on all the time to move me in the direction I want. Now, some of those things I set up and put on my schedule, I'm only going to work on them once a week. Other things I add to my daily routines. For example, we talked about self-talk yesterday. It's really easy to add self-talk to our daily practice of affirmations or something. You know, I always speak to myself with loving kindness. I'm in my greatest cheerleader, whatever works for us. So we, we wrapped up communication today. Now next month and the rest of the year, we're going to be doing something different. We focus on the, the framework and now I'm looking for input actually because I have not planned out October, November, and December daily like I did the previous nine months so I had a topic every day now I did change the topics for example yesterday I changed the topic to self-talk and that area of communication and how important actually that's the most critical area of communication for each and every one of us uh, whether we're consciously aware of it or not so I can change the topics whenever I want but I do like to have a structure and a framework mapped out ahead of time so working on that today so that I can launch it tomorrow <laughs> duh uh, if I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Uh, getting ready, I've got movers coming in two days, two days and a whole lot of stuff to do. So I need to get on that as well as my previous and other commitments. But if I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.